Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday. What is it, July 21st? July 21st. This is for all signs. This is just a daily energy, you know, whenever it resonates with you. It may not resonate. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Today could be a day of transition, opening new doors. I don't know. That's what I that's what I see. Faith. Imagine that. This is the Hierophant card. It is ruled by the sign of Taurus. This is believing in yourself. Listening to your inner guide. Seeking guidance, receiving guidance. It's also a card of commitment, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's commitment to faith. Maybe it's commitment to tra transition, to opening new doors. Somebody's been clinging to the past with the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, something solid, long term. Maybe that's your new door that's opening. There could certainly be a new opportunity. We have the Four of Cups reversed. So there's probably a new opportunity. Like I said, a new door opening. Now, with the Six of Cups reversed, it's it may not be with somebody from your past. This is a new opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Magician, something you've manifested. For some of you, it could be the past. You've been clinging to it and you've been waiting for that golden opportunity to arrive. And it may be now this person finally sees it. I don't know. The Magician is where somebody uses their power to follow their dreams, to bring success to their lives faith that they could manifest it, believing that they could do it, believing that this new opportunity would come in. You know, it all starts with belief. Knight of Cups. Reversed. <laughs> this could be somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet, but you don't trust it. Star, wish fulfillment, heaven sent. Seven of coins, something you've been waiting for for quite some time. You've invested in it, and you've invested a lot of a lot of faith, a lot of time, a lot of um, energy manifesting this new beginning. So for some of you, it's whatever you've been waiting for for quite some time. Maybe it's been seven months. What's well, seven months? December, January. The devil, temptation. And the two of cups. Oh my goodness. So there's an opportunity here. A new opportunity for love. That is, is there's a connection here that is divine, okay? Because we do. We have a divine connection. We do. I feel we absolutely do, okay? We have, this is like a, a gift from above. It's like there's a new door opening that you have been, you've been praying for it. You've been believing. You've been manifesting. You've called it in. And perhaps this other person has been hearing you. It's like the universe has has sent the the cord to them, the, the call. Did you just hear the bird? That's funny.
And you know, it's kind of funny before I started this reading. <laughs> Y'all know I get emotional with reading sometimes. And um, before I did this reading, um, I don't even know if I should say this, but I'm going to. I saw the King of Cups. That's what I saw. And the King of Cups is someone that does have good intention. Somebody that has love to offer. And that can be any sign. It does represent uh, water, which it, you know, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But every sign can take on those energies. We all have it in us. Um, very loving, very kind-hearted, um, genuine. There's an opportunity for a, a commitment here with the Two of Cups, a union, a coming together that somebody has manifested. It's like a dream come true with the star cards. Heaven sent. It feels as though this the, you've been waiting patiently. It has been taking forever with this Knight of Cups reverse. It's like you thought this person was never coming. And somebody has really clung to the past, the memories. The memories have been, you know, haunting them with the Six of Cups reversed. And your thoughts truly do become things. So I feel like there is a, a golden opportunity, a new opportunity that leads to something solid, stable, and long-term coming in that perhaps you may have felt you know, you weren't going to give up on it. I'm not going to give up on this. I'm just going to wait for the right time for this to arrive. And I feel as though, you know, that you may have at times, at times felt like, you know what? This ain't never going to happen. And I really feel like that too with this Four of Cups. You know, I'm getting sick of waiting. I'm getting bored with this. Um, I'm looking for something more. And you may have come close to seriously giving up with the Four of Cups. You know, you may have been thinking, you know what? At times, I'm ready. I'm ready for something more. I want something more. I want love. I want something more. You know, and you, you may have felt like I give up even at times. But now, the opportunity is here. The opportunity is here with the... With the, with the Faith card, the Ace of Coins, and the Magician card, and the Star card, and the Two of Cups. The opportunity is coming. For those of you that have been patiently waiting and manifesting and believing that this would come. If you've kept the faith, it's here. For some of you that have lost faith and you know don't believe then this situation could be halted it could be stalled you know it's funny i started this out with belief it's all about belief if you if you don't believe belief is faith if you don't believe then it's not going to happen you have to believe so the magician is also about somebody being willing to change to bring success to their lives Becoming aware of what needs to change. Shedding the old to become, to become something new. So that they can be successful where they weren't successful before. Somebody has changed so that they can have a successful partnership. In the past, they may have been driven by addictions, greed, lust. And perhaps now, today, they're stepping out of their ego, hopefully. The devil is an ego card. The card of ego. Underneath that four of cups reversed, I think somebody is deciding that that ego isn't serving them. It's causing them to have a lost opportunity. The ego, the greed, is causing them to have a lost opportunity. We got two. Oh, <laughs> two 
two major cards. Okay? Somebody is releasing. I was going to clarify the devil. <laughs> okay, might as well just put it up here, right? Somebody's ego is being released so that they can re begin, so that they can have a new chapter, so that destiny can play out, so that good luck can come into their lives. So that they can have this wonderful union, this wonderful two of cups, this love, this forever. I was going to clarify the devil and I got the death in the wheel. There's the, an ending of ego, an ending of the shadow. You know, it's, well, it's not a complete ending, right? There's an ending of letting the ego control, releasing. Transition. Death is transition. Interesting. <laughs> Opening a new door with the wheel of fortune. That's what this is. There ain't that's no joke. Okay? Funny. So there's a new beginning because somebody has completed a phase. They've completed a phase in their life. A, a phase of, of discontent and um, letting ego drive. And because that's exactly what this is, okay? Somebody has invested a lot of time in change. Somebody has changed. And because they've changed, the wheel is spinning in their favor. And bringing them a new opportunity for love. Release, ego. Death is release, devil is ego. Release, ego. Good things come with the real. I mean, you can't make that shit up. So I feel like today is a day of, of good fortune, good luck. Somebody has made some significant changes in who they are and they're ready for this new opportunity. They're ready for something solid. They're ready for a commitment. The, the faith card, the Hierophant, is commitment. I'm ready to commit. I believe that we have the power to bring success. It's like, it's, it's heaven sent. It's a gift from above. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of wish fulfillment. Somebody's been waiting for this. Whether it happens today, tomorrow, next week, whenever, this reading, the time is, is fluid. This is being recorded on Saturday, July 21st. Now, I was going to add up the numerology, but I don't have time for that. But whatever, um, there's a new chapter here, beginning, that it appears that it's going to fulfill your wishes. Congratulations. Wonderful. It's something you've invested a lot in. It's the end of a difficult period. The Three of Swords reversed. It's the end of sorrow. It's the end of heartache. I don't know who this reading is for. I don't. For some of you, you know, if you don't believe, if you're negative, then this reading is probably not for you. I mean, it could be because the universe works in mysterious ways. But believing is key. It's key. Definitely somebody has manifested and they've been patiently waiting and now there's a new beginning. I mean, the death card and the wheel, those are both new beginnings. A fresh new start. Let's see what we can get from the angel romance deck. 
Oh, this one wants to come. Ooh, engagement. And this can even lead to marriage. This Hierophant card is marriage. It's commitment that leads to marriage. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And that is exactly what's happening. A commitment is coming in if you are single and you're ready. If you've manifested it. If you've been patient and you have manifested it. If that's what you want, it's coming. If you don't want it, it's not. I mean, that's this is about manifestation. For those of you that have manifested it, yes. For those of you that don't want it, no. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We're going to get one more of these. And as you heal, things get better. As you release, good luck comes in. Oh my goodness. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. There's an opportunity for love here. That goes beyond. It does. It's something that is meant to be. I don't know who this is for. It's quite a change, right? And it's funny. I started this out with transition and opening doors. It's quite a change from the previous energy. It's so funny. Transition. It is. There's a, there's an energy shift. Where ego is has been, or is being released, you know, with these eclipse energies, that is what's happening. Ego is being released, and love is coming back. What's the opposite of ego? Love. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. And I feel as though that is what this is about. This is about going back to love. Putting love back in the, in the limelight. Not letting ego drive. Not letting love die. It's a, it, there's a new door opening for those of you that are ready, have manifested it, and have continued to believe. So that's what I have for today. For those of you that don't want love, this reading is not for you. This reading is for people that are open to change, Forgiving, believing, and allowing love to come into their lives. Talk to you next time.